am I giving up my Saturday for this? It's Astro Camp. It's supposed to be cool. You would be excited for Astro Camp. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we could have missed class for this. <laughs> Good morning and welcome astronauts to your first expedition. Any questions? Um, yes, I forgot my spacesuit. Can I still go? <laughs> Keep a lid on the sarcasm, Ramona. In outer space, that kind of attitude, you could jeopardize a mission. You'll be hiking in a group assembled into a crew as if in space. Everyone is assigned a partner. Be prepared to get to know some of your classmates really well. Does anyone remember what I said about sensitivity of electrical charges? You said that an imbalance of positive and negative charges in outer space can alter the alignment of astral matter. Sometimes even causing it to explode. Unexpected astro explosions are a primary cause of... Hurricanes, tsunamis, and other natural disasters. This is gonna be a trip. Our solar system has a typically low percentage of astral explosions. So is that why we can safely send our own aircraft into space? That is the reason we can safely send our spacecraft into space, yes indeed. And it's also the main support behind theories that aliens actually do exist, right? Mm -hmm. Our solar system is one of the safest for travel, so anything's possible. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> why would anyone want to leave Earth? Why wouldn't you? Right. Let's pack it up. Sam, what's wrong? Isaac, do you see that? Are you okay? Look up in the sky. That's weird. I've never seen that kind of star pattern on the mountain before. Me neither. I go hiking up here all the time. That is not a star pattern. How are you even in AP science? Look at the shape. It's, it's gotta be a UFO. It's a Neo. Where's Dr. A when you need him? Wait, where is Dr. A? Dr. A! Trucker, what's going on? Wait, where's Ben? I think she's gone too. Where are they? Madeline! We have to find them. Right. Madeline! Dr. A? Dr. Ray! Madeline! You ever think you're taking this Neo thing just a little too seriously? Too seriously? This is my life's work. I know. That's why you created the charge. Any idiot with a basic doctorate in astrophysics could predict the Neo's return. Even those morons at NASA probably know. I know, but only you figured out how to draw it into our atmosphere. You're, you're drawing it into our atmosphere. Why? You'll see.
brought us here for this? He wants us to go through. You want us to be the only humans to travel beyond our solar system? You've got to be kidding me. Have you seen my leg? I can't exactly go anywhere right now. Not us. Just Madeline. Okay. Why? No, you just get on your spaceship and let us go, please. It's not a spaceship. It's a Neo. And it's harmless. It's a transporting device between planets. But she has to get in. What? Why? Madeline, no. look, I love you. But it's time for you to discover more about who you are. Trucker, do something! I do! I don't know, you're the Brainiac! Dad, please! Stop, you fool! <laughs> Let her stay. The all is here with us! No. She has to go to her home. This is not her home. <laughs> Madeline, come back! Oh, Madeline! You know, you really does screw up relationships. Brian Trucker sucks. Let's get out of here. So what happens tomorrow? I put a liquid neuralizer in the canteens. By the time the sun rises, nobody's gonna have any idea what just happened to them. What are we going to remember? <laughs>